When will the normies get it? When will the normies finally get it? The game is undefeated. You know, the game is the game. Here in this clip, we're going to see a man here. He's going to set these kids up. So basically, it's going to be two girls. Their mom set up the whole thing. She wanted a test to see if her kids would just go in a car with a stranger. And these kids, these these girls, they look like teenagers. They look like high school girls, right? And it's a guy that's going to pull up and ask them to get in the car. And I want you to see not just the reaction. I want you to see the whole setting, everything about it. I'm picking you up, right? Yeah. She sent me to pick you guys up. Look at the car that he has. Look at the car that he has. And look how no hesitation. Now, these these look like 15 year olds, 16 year olds from from my from my vantage point. Looks like they can't they can't they can't. I, I don't think they're older than 17. They look like 15, 16 year olds, 14, 15, 16. All right. So notice that. Notice how the guy looks. Notice the car. Notice his voice tone. Right. But look how quickly they enter that car. I don't know you guys' mom, by the way. Yeah, I don't, I don't know your mom. Why did you get in the car? Because you said you knew her mom. Yeah, well, I don't, so. G, <laughs> call, call her. Call her up right now. Call your mom up. We're setting you guys up because you just got in my car. Like, you didn't even check with your mom to make sure someone else was picking you guys up. When I say... When I say grape culture is a myth, I mean it. Let's continue. You just jumped in my car and you trusted me. We wanted to test you guys. I'm going to tell you why I say that. And you failed. Why? You said you knew her mom. Why'd you trust me without checking with your mom? That's the million dollar question. Why did you trust me without checking with your mom? And what you're going to see with a lot of these comments in this comment section, 95%, I'll say 98% of the comments section, it, it flew right over their head. It was just like, I would never jump in that car. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. <laughs> they got no answer. They got no answer. Why did you go in the car? Your mom Let me tell you guys something, man. You know that meme where it's just like, where they say, I'm going to bring up two examples. You know that meme where it says, what's the exam what is the difference between 50 Shades of Grey and another documentary crime series about a guy in a trailer doing the same thing. There's no difference, but the guy has money and it's the, the, the environment. <laughs> How about this? How about this? I'll give you another example. Dave Chappelle has this joke about why men have nice cars. It's because women like nice cars <laughs> and the car is the bait. And it's like, you know, that gotcha, you know, that joke. And I mentioned that here. So I want you to take a look at my comment up top. I said, low key, the mom just found out her daughters belong to the streets. And. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> look, man. What people don't understand. That's how it goes. A lot of the times you don't even need what they saw. Well, I'm going to tell you what they saw. They saw a man with a nice car. They saw a clean cut looking man, a, a little bit soft spoken. He didn't have to pull any twist arms. Hey, hey, she go. He didn't have to sh show his phone. Oh, he said, "Hey, yo, your um, your mom just called." But they look clean looking, dude. They saw a nice, expensive, shiny, yellow and black, expensive uh, uh sports muscle car. That's all they needed. This video was actually a big red pill. It's, I don't even think that's even that's a black pill. That is a black pill video. Check this out right here. Check this out right here. I want you to look at these comments. They say they too grown to be falling for this trick. And all of these comments, LMAO, why would they do that? And now they shocked. And I want you to see this comment right here. It said, bro, this is the shittiest parenting. And basically all these comments is basically the mom raised them wrong. The mom raised them wrong. The parents fell. Oh, the parents got to do better. You see another comment. Oh, this is going to be, this would be my kid. You guys, these people are normies. These <laughs> now I understand why Coach Greg Adams be calling these people oxygen thieves and whatnot. Bruh, most girls are gonna fall for it. People think that 
let, let me give you an, an example. If this guy came in with a rusty ass car, forget that. He comes in with a sketchy big white van <laughs> and he comes in with a shaggy beard, no haircut, <laughs> probably speaking in a, in a bit of an accent, a foreign accent. Do you think they're even getting in that in that in that in that car? You think they're getting in that car? No. People think that just these 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 traffickers, you know, <laughs> these, you know, the, the child traffickers, these people, they, they're coming in ice cream vans. No, everybody knows that. That's not how they capture people. They go, oh, why don't you come to this mansion? I got this mansion party. You can come over or look at this nice car. Do you want to get in this night? Nice, look, 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 I got girls in this car already. That's how they get caught. That's how these girls get caught. <laughs> people just think it's just dudes coming in with it with the with the white with a with a sketchy a white van or a a a a a a Mitsubishi, a dirty Mitsubishi, and and and, and <laughs> of course they're not going to enter that car. And it's some some dude with some gold teeth and 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 and, and some and, and a dirty hairstyle, looking shaggy like a muff. You, you think you think the child trap? You think these people are coming in and stuff like that? No. These guys are coming in in a Cadillac, right? They're coming in with. A lot, like I said, I was about to bring up. You don't even need a nice car. All you gotta do is, hey, I got some weed. That's all you need. People don't even understand, like the, <laughs> like, do you know the lengths that teenagers will travel just to get high? I'm talking about they will go to people's houses that they do not know. They will go to they will go to another state. They'll drive with a person that they do not know to another state. Come back, you don't even know what happened. This is how people get trafficked. Is people, people, these people are talking about the parents got to do better. I'm like, you guys don't know. <laughs> they said, so isn't this still kidnapping? <laughs> oh, Lord. They said, I would have just start throwing hands. It doesn't work that way because they're comfortable. And really, a smart mother will see. will see that the reason why I say the mom just found out her daughters belong to the game because it's that easy. That's all it took. All it took was a nice car. <laughs> that's all it took it was a nice car and just the it's there and it's like oh this chariot has arrived for me i'm sorry when you're dealing with young teenage girls they want a scenario like that where a nice car picking them up hopefully there's some weed in there hopefully they did <laughs> like i'm sorry guys like <laughs> you got this is a that's why i say this is a black pill if this guy showed up in a van no no if this guy showed up in a rusty ass car Shaggy beard, no haircut. Talking about, I just had a talk with your parents. Can you please come in the car? Can if he had a weird ass Indian accent, their antennas would have been up like this. <laughs> oh man, here, here. He said, "Dude, let me save you the suspense." He tried to stuff on my kid, and you're getting arrested, like arrested and buried under the jail. You, you don't understand. This guy doesn't understand. This is first of all, this is a simp. This is a simp. I'm trying to see. There was only one comment that said, "Oh, he those those girls are thotties." <laughs> I was like, "You finally get it." I was like, "Finally." You see how just no questions asked is wild. It's not, it's not, it's what? Look, man. <laughs> like, people don't get it. People do not get it. Look, let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. This can happen to your kids easily, especially if you have daughters. The guy doesn't even need a nice car. All he needs is some weed. That's it. Really, if I'm keeping it real with y'all, if I'm keeping it, if I'm keeping it a stack, all he needs is some weed or maybe some other drugs, or probably a drink or two. All he needs is some weed. And he got you. And he got y'all daughters like that. How do you think all these the, the Epstein Island stuff, the, the recruitment, how these girls get pimped out, they get strung out on. How do you think it works? People just think it's just dudes. Just, they when they like when girls talk about creepy dudes, they have. An image of what that creepy dude is, right? They think it's just a weird looking dude with a tank top looking sketchy. It's not, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about the guy will show up with a suit and a Corvette. And this guy is the devil. This is I'm like, <laughs> like y'all never ever, ever heard of them old school black preachers when they talk about how the devil shows up. He's not, he's not, it's, it's so easy. A dirty man walking around and he's clearly dirty. No, that's not how he shows up. He's going to show up like how he shows up to man. He's going to show up with a low skirt, big old butt, big smile. And that girl is the devil. <laughs> Y'all never heard that sermon before. And this is interesting. It's interesting how people don't catch this. I'm like, those girls clearly, I, I already know what happened. This could happen to anybody's daughter. 
This could happen. Shoot, that can even happen to some dudes. It could. That's it. Don't take much. It don't take. It don't even take a nice car. All they need is some weed. That's it. Have some. You don't know the lengths these 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 teenagers be traveling. They'll be with people. They they be traveling with people they don't know all the time. Now, and here's the and here's the catch twenty two about it. If you are a responsible kid at that age and say no, you're gonna have a whole bunch of kids like I'll travel with you, right? And you're just like you don't even know this person. You're gonna end up being alone as you're not gonna have a whole lot of friends. If you don't take the offer, <laughs> this is what people don't understand. And most, like I said, most kids are going to take that offer because most kids or I'm sorry, most people are not talented. Most people are very insignificant. So anything that they can do to climb up that social lad- ladder, they'll do stuff like that. They'll take the ride. They'll take the joint. They'll take the drink with the popular kids to, you know, get themselves higher up the rank because they don't have any talent. They, they, they don't have anything uh, significant about themselves that they can fall back on that. They're like, I don't need to take this offer. <laughs> Man, but like just watching the comments in that video, I'm like, yep, y- y'all are lost. I was trying to look for that comment where it's just like it was actually one of the top two comments. I don't know why I can't find it anymore. He said they, they saw the guy with a nice. Cl- uh, they saw a handsome dude in the car. I'm not saying he was like drop dead. He was just so, so gorgeous. He, he's a clean cut looking dude in a nice car. And they fell for it. That's how it usually that's how they usually get caught up. That's how usually these girls get in trouble. But like I said, that's that's that video was actually a black pill. It's not that's not even a red pill. That's a black pill. Let me come up in there with my uh, hoopty that I got outside talking about. Oh, your mom gave me <laughs> instructions. They would put me on video. Ca- they will take out their phone so quickly. Record my black ass. <laughs> get my license plate number. That's how it works, guys. <laughs> Man, people understand. People don't even under like when it comes to getting caught up. And then when I said earlier, I said great culture is a myth. That's how. <laughs> this is how they those how those how those girls get up, caught up in these situations. They think they see they see the situation. They're like, ah, this might come up. <laughs> I'm finna finesse this dude. Anyway, let me stop before I get in trouble.